So I just showed you that empirically the likelihood will converge, but theoretically uh, it can also be proved that uh, EM algorithm would converge to a local maximum. So here's just the illustration of what happened and a detailed explanation of this um, I would require more, um, more uh, uh, knowledge about uh, uh, some of the inequalities that we haven't really covered uh, yet. So uh, here what you see is on the x dimension we have a theta value. This is the parameter that we are after. On the y axis we see the likelihood function. So this uh, curve is the uh, original likelihood function. Right, so this one. And this is the one that we hope to maximize. And we hope uh, to find a theta value at this point to maximize this. But in the case of mixture model, we cannot easily find uh, an analytical solution to the problem. So we have to resolve a numerical algorithm. And EM algorithm is such an algorithm. It's a here climb algorithm. That would mean uh, you start with some uh, random guess. Let's say you start uh, from here. That's your starting point. And then you try to improve this uh, by uh, moving this to an, another point where you can have a higher likelihood. So that's the idea of hill climbing. And in the EM algorithm, the way we achieve this is to do two things. First, we'll fix a lower bound of likelihood function. So this is the lower bound you can see here. And, and once we fit the lower bound, we can then maximize the lower bound. And of course, the reason why this works is because the lower bound is much easier to optimize. So we know our current guess is here. And by maximizing the lower bound, we'll move this point to the top, to here. right? And we can then map to the original uh, likelihood function. We find this point. Because it's a lower bound, we are guaranteed to improve this guess. Right? Because we improve our low bound, and then the original likelihood curve, which is above this low bound, will definitely be improved as well. Right? So we already know it's improving the low bound. So we definitely improve this original likelihood function, which is above this uh, low bound. So in our example, uh, the current guess is the parameter value given by the current generation. And then the next guess is the re-estimated parameter values. From this illustration, you can see the next guess is always better than the current guess, unless it has reached the maximum where the, it would be stuck there. So the two would be equal. So uh, the E step is basically to compute this lower bound. And we don't directly just compute this likelihood function, but we compute the uh, the latent variable values and these are basically a part of this lower bound. This helps determine the lower bound. The aim step on the other hand is to maximize the lower bound. It allows us to move parameters to a new point and that's why uh, EM algorithm is guaranteed to converge to a local maximum. Now as you can imagine uh, when we have many local maxima we also have to repeat the EM algorithm multiple times in order to figure out which one is the actual uh, global maximum. And this actually in, in general is a difficult uh, problem in numerical optimization. So here for example, had we started from here, then we gradually just uh, climb up to this top. So that's not optimal. And we'd like to climb up all the way to here. So the only way to climb up to this here is to start from somewhere here or here. Right? So uh, the, in the EM algorithm, we generally would have to start from different points or have some other way to determine a, a good initial uh, starting point. To summarize, in this lecture, we introduced the uh, EM algorithm. This is a general algorithm for computing maximum likelihood estimator of all kinds of mixture models. So not just for our simple mixture model. And it's a hill climbing algorithm. So it can only converge to a local maximum and it will depend on initial points. The general idea is that uh, we will have two steps to improve the estimate of parameters. In the E step, we roughly are augmenting our data by predicting values of useful hidden variables that we would uh, use to simplify the estimation. In our case, this is 
uh, the distribution that has been used to generate the world. In the end step, then, we would exploit such augmented data, which would make it easier to uh, estimate the distribution to improve the estimate of parameters. Here, improve is guaranteed in terms of the likelihood function. Note that it's not necessary that uh, we will have a stable uh, converged parameter values, even though the likelihood function is ensured to increase. There are some properties that have to be satisfied in order for the parameters uh, also to converge to some uh, stable uh, value. Now here data augmentation is done probabilistically. That means we're not going to just say exactly what's the value of a hidden variable, but we're going to have a probability uh, distribution over the possible values of these hidden variables. So this causes a split of counts of events probabilistically. And and in our case, we'll split the world counts between the two distributions. 